especially with Amare. So today we're doing something super cool. You guys have been asking me, and I know I've been slacking, but we're doing it. So if you guys are listening on the Spotify or the podcast, I highly suggest going to YouTube to watch this video. Um, if you guys are watching this on Instagram, the full video will be on YouTube. So check that out. We are going to learn how to sleep on our back with a BBL. Yay! Okay, so disclaimer. Um, if you had BBL and lipo, you're supposed to be sleeping on your stomach. That's golden rule. If you had a breast dog and a tummy tuck and a BBL, sleeping on your stomach is not an option. So I get asked this a lot. Well, how should I sleep? A lot of doctors say a recliner. Here's the problem with a recliner. It's like this. All the pressure is off your stomach, but it's now on your BBL. If you're not supporting yourself off that surface and giving yourself a gap so that your butt is floating in that gap, you're going to wind up putting pressure on the BBL and it's going to hurt a lot. So here's how we fix that. Whether this be a recliner or a bed or a couch, you want it to be something you can easily settle yourself into, not something you're going to have to crawl up onto. That's for any surface after surgery, okay? I raised my table so you guys could see what I'm doing. Um, so this is, I'm going to be like climbing up onto this thing, but you should be in something that you can easily sink into. Also, do not do this if you have not talked to your doctor about it first. Ask your surgeon. Be like, dude, how am I supposed to sleep? I can't sleep on my back. I can't sleep on my stomach. What do I do? So this is for if your doctor's like, okay, figure it out. Or if your doctor doesn't give you any information and you really can't and you're struggling. Some people have herniated discs. Um, yes, it's Ashley with Amari. Hello, Kathleen. Um, some people have herniated discs. Some people can't sleep face down. It's super uncomfortable. It's ruining your neck. It's ruining your back. This is the solution, sleeping on your back in this way. Now, these bolsters that I'm using, I got on Amazon. I will link to them. These are the bolsters. This is our Elizabeth office. These are the bolsters that we use in here for you guys. They are very, very thick. They do not collapse. So that's number one. The supplies that you're using to do this need to be firm. So comforters are really thick and work really well. If you can fold up a comforter into a square and use that for under your legs and under your back with some really firm like throw pillows or couch pillows or something, that's going to be your best bet. You don't want anything that's going to collapse under your weight when you're trying to do this. You'll be messing with it forever. Another thing, super important, I understand you might be finding this video after your BBL, but please test this out before your surgery, guys. When you're able to move it around and set it up and figure out where in your house, where you're staying, that this is going to be a comfortable setup for you to easily get into. Figure out where you're going to put things, what exactly you're going to use so you know that it works. Okay, so... I will put this bolster link in bio. Um, I'm using two of them. Sometimes you can use three of them if it's comfortable. Um, kind of up to you. I'm using two of them for the purposes of the demo. But I'll put that link in the bio. I'm also going to, again, it's going to be on the YouTube. That's going to be the easiest way to find it is our Amari Healing Arts YouTube. The link will be right there in the comments section or in the little info section. It's also going to be on our Spotify and like I said, because I'm demoing, if you guys are listening on the podcast, you might want to switch over um, to the YouTube and check it out. The links will be in all the appropriate places. So, next point. Your BBL pillow. Hmm. We're not using a bobby pillow. That's number one. If you don't know what kind of BBL pillow you need. If your BBL pillow is collapsing, if it doesn't look like this, where when you squeeze it, you have to like really squeeze it to get it to collapse, it's not going to hold your weight properly. I have a video on the post-op shop for the Amari BBL pillow um, talking about, which I did buy a like random BBL pillow on Amazon and showed you the difference between the two. So if you don't know what kind of BBL pillow you should be using, especially for this setup and what it should feel like and what it needs to be like, go find that video. It's on our YouTube. That um, I think is also, that podcast is also on our podcast things. But that's the first and foremost super important thing before we even start to learn how to do this is you need to have a proper BBL pillow. Otherwise, this will not work. So, BBL pillow and really firm bolsters or really firm blankets or pillows are what you are going to need and a surface that you can easily lower yourself onto. Okay, got it? Three things. That's what we need. All right, so how have we set this up? So, feet are going here, head is going there. This is supporting your spine. This bolster. Get over the bed. Oh no. This bolster. Your spine is going this way. This is where your back is going. This is where your legs are going. This space is where your BBL is floating. 
in here. Your BBL should never be touching the table or the surface. There shouldn't be any pressure on it. So we wanna make sure that whatever we're stacking, pillows, blankets, whatever it is, it's high enough that it's gonna lift you off. These bolsters are really big and thick. So they're going to lift me up really, really big. You're also going to then put your BBL pillow right in the center of whatever you're putting your legs on. This is the super important part. Yes, you can do this without the BBL pillow, but you're gonna collapse, and I'm gonna show you that in a second. So, blankets for the spine, bolster, blah, 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 for the legs, okay. Oh no, I'm in so much pain, oh no, it hurts so bad, oh no, I'm gonna crawl up on here, oh no. This is very clumsy, but again, you guys aren't gonna be climbing up, you're gonna be lowering yourself down. So, we are all in line. This is where your lower back is gonna go. So when you lower yourself onto whatever surface you're gonna be lowering yourself onto, your lower back is coming on this edge of whatever your blankets and stuff are. So right there, right on your lower back. Not here, like middle back, where it's all like this. Lower back, right up on the edge. And then your BBL pillow is coming right on the back of your thighs. So the point where your glutes meet your thighs, Every BBL garment has like a seam right here where it separates the BBL from the legs. That seam is what you want touching this back edge of the BBL pillow. So we're gonna scoot this up. It's cradling right there. And here we are. There's zero pressure on my BBL. This is my lower back and it's actually not even on the bolster. And this is my BBL and I'm relaxed completely flat. And this is how I'm laying. So this is how you're gonna do it. Set it up wherever you're setting it up. But all of this is space. There is zero pressure. Nothing is touching at all. This whole thing is space. You can see right through it. This is how you should be set up when you have BBL, breast dog, BBL, tummy tuck, ab repair, skin removal, all the stuff where you can't lay down. Now again, we want to make sure that this is up high enough because if it's not, look at what happens. I took away the BBL pillow and I'm completely collapsed. That's why it's super important you have an actual firm BBL pillow, not a boppy, not regular pillows, an actual BBL pillow that works because it makes a huge difference in where the weight is sitting. So when we put it back, it's cradling and we have all this space. So even if you're just using blankets, bolsters, pillows, all of that, you got to make sure you're up high enough because it makes a huge difference. And not that you're just up high enough because again, when I laid on this, it's squish and I collapsed. This is the key using this thing is the key. So if you have no idea about the BBL pillow situation, check out that video or go to the MRA post-op shop and you can click on the BBL pillow product page and the video where I show you the difference is right there on the page. So hope that was a little bit helpful for you guys. But again, you wanna make sure that first of all, this is going to be safe for you. Talk to your doctor about it first. Second of all, you are lowering yourself down onto something. You're not trying to climb up into a king size bed. And if you're doing this on a recliner, you can set it up the same way. This part would be where the legs of the recliner is, where the little kicky outy thing is, the end of it. This part would be the back of the recliner. And again, using the BBL pillow on top of all of that, you'll get that nice big space in the recliner, which would be a lot easier than trying to get into bed or something like that. But if you're far enough out where you're starting to sleep in bed, this is still a really good way up until your six weeks to protect your BBL. So. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I will post the links in the places for the bolsters, um, and then you guys know where to get this. And that's it. If you guys need help with after BBL stuff, if you're having a complicated surgery, if you're having lipo, breast aug, hernia repair, like BBL situation going on, set up a virtual, 732-841-0142. Alex can set you up with that. Our virtuals, we have increased to 45 minutes because 30 minutes is not enough. Um, they are 135 for 45 minutes. You can call Alex to set that up. And I hope this was a little bit helpful. I will try to kind of splice up the important part of this and put it in a reel so you guys have it really quick. Um, otherwise, this will go on our YouTube on Friday. Ashley with the Mare. I will see you guys soon. Bye.